Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Guy's son, and I'm coming back to introduce you guys to a very familiar, very popular attack in Clash of Clans, if you haven't heard it. And I'm going to be explaining to you how exactly you could do this and be a pro against majority of bases you come across. And this is a really good time to learn this strategy because Clan Wars is out, and this is when all your clan mates are going to be working together. So, you guys, this is going to help you out in your attacks against other players on the enemy clan. So, I'm going to try and break it down for you guys in five easy steps how you could do the Go Wee Wee attack, which is the strongest and most popular attack when you're raising your trophies and going up to champion leagues. Now, you don't necessarily have to have strong heroes for this to work. I've had level 10 heroes attack me and pretty much two star me every time using this type of strategy. So, it's very strong and a favored composition for the top players. So let me go ahead and break down these five easy steps so that you can be a pro and master this technique against your enemies that you attack. Step number one is you got to pull the heroes. And I've done a video in the past, uh, Heroes Away, if you remember that, where I show a more detailed explanation of how you can pull heroes out and what to do once you get them in the corner. Uh, so make sure you get the heroes out of the way because if you leave heroes inside their base, uh, they just kind of slow you down they distract you and it's just uh, it's easier if you can get them out of the way first before you use the strategy and you can achieve getting the heroes out of the way by using wall breakers to pull them first leading them to a corner and using at least three witches to keep them occupied with minions that are attacking them be sure to watch out if there are motars in the way look at the enemy layout so you can determine if it's safe to attack in a certain spot because a lot of people that use this technique get shut down because either wizard towers or something will splash all the troops out of the way and the heroes just go right for your witches so be sure to watch out for that but if you are able to take out heroes with ease which I'm sure you should using three witches then the next step should come easier step number two is you gotta use your golems to be as a tank for your wizards to take out and clean up all the building structures around them. Tanks or golems usually are what are going to draw enemy fire away from your shooters. And this most likely is the biggest step in go wee wee attacks if you have your golems pulling all the weapon fire for your shooters to take out any obstacle or any other building structure in the way for your heroes to get an easy access into that town hall right to the center. So when you deploy your golems, make sure you look and see how many weapons are going to be attracted to that golem when it gets near the wall. So that your wizards have easy access to take out everything around the golem for your heroes to get inside. Now let's move on to step number three. If you notice, a lot of people that use the go wee wee attack have at least 15 to 20 wall breakers in their troop composition so that they can achieve that easy access to the town hall. And you most likely will also need that many wall breakers so that you can get past the walls that they have set up, especially if they are level 9s and 10 or 11s. So the best way to use wall breakers is to make sure that you're using freeze spells against infernal towers and looking for any possible gaps that may have a mega bomb inside. And of course, if there is a mega bomb inside, it would be better not to deploy all your wall breakers at once. Instead, use two or three at a time, so that this way you are moving your golems closer to enemy fire and you have enough to get to the center wall where the town hall is guarded. Now I would say step two and three are the hardest part of this strategy if you're trying to use the go wee wee attack. However, number four and five get easier for you as they only require spell deployment and troop deployment for the ending. So let's go ahead and move on to number four, spell management. Now there aren't really any given spell that you should or should not be using for this attack. I would recommend using rage, lightning, and free spells. However, some pros actually do use the jump spell. But given that we are going with the majority of what people use, spell management will require you to deploy spells at the right time so that your troops will be more effective and you'll be taking out clan castle troops if they get in the way. Now sometimes you won't even need step number five because if you do spell management correctly and you have the right attack, uh, your troops can actually do all the work for you as they will be close enough to the town hall and you could probably throw a rage spell on them and finish up the job that way. But you will also need to be careful with using your spells because if there are any open gaps and you throw rage spells on your troops, they may be fast enough to get to a gap and mega bombs will usually just foil all your plans. So make sure you're looking at the base layout before you're using your spells and know where exactly your troops will go so that this doesn't happen to you. So you guys, we have four steps down. They are getting the heroes out of the way, 
using the golems as tanks so your wizards can clean up the building structures around them, making good use of your wall breakers sparingly so that they all don't go into one spot and blow up. Make sure you use them two or three at a time, and then using your spells wisely so that your troops will become more effective. So that leaves us with the last step for the Go Wee Wee, so that you will be successful. And this is probably the part where you have to really take your time and look and see where exactly your troops will go when you deploy them. Because now that you've cleared out the way and the town hall is accessible, your heroes will move wherever the closest target will be. So let's say if you have an open area for the town hall and there is a gold mine on the right side of you, then your heroes will go to that gold mine and they won't go where you want them to go. So you guys have to be very careful when you deploy them. Look around and see if there's any outside stuff in the way before you deploy them and make sure you put them in the spot where you feel they will most likely move towards the center of the town hall. And you guys, I recommend that you save at least one rage spell and the queen as your last hero that you deploy as she is more of a straight shooter and goes for most likely the target that you point her to. So I hope this five steps has helped you guys. These are the five steps for the go wee wee strategy. Be sure to take them one step at a time as you will most likely not get it right away. It may take some practice, but if you guys just check out some of the videos I've got or look at any of your friends in your clan, if they're using the same strategy, look at the replays and you'll see most likely is the same technique, the same strategy that they're using. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. This is Godson. I'll see you next time. Godson out.